mentioned that they've moved up the charts so fast. I, I don't I don't know. I don't consider arrived. Yeah. Um, you lose to Kentucky and give up 300 yards rushing. I right. don't consider arrived yet. Right. right. Um, I, I think that they're having a lot of success, but I. I thought this would be. I thought they'd be exactly where they're at. Now okay. I just thought they'd be six and one with a loss to LSU. Right. I didn't. I didn't think they would have beaten LSU. Um, well, actually, you probably would have been a flip a pick 'em game because I didn't think LSU would be as great as they are now. But okay. um, I think that it's the start of. If you're a Florida fan, you're excited to see some freaking offense. Sure. I mean, my God, it's been <laughs> a while. You've wasted so many really good defenses, and you just watch offense year after year, and it's been frustrating to watch. And now. There's a heartbeat. There's a pulse. There's an identity. You get it. It's like, oh, okay, we can get first downs. And because I don't think they're, they don't have their guy yet. Dan doesn't have his quarterback yet that I think he, that he'll have that will take him to the next level. But he's got a guy that you can tell can manage the game, can make plays. You got Tony to come in who's a curveball, who's freaking fun to watch. That dude's, that dude's quick as a hiccup. But um, so I think it's developing, but it's not there yet. David, how important is this for George's momentum? Next. I'm sorry. sorry. Go. No, how, go how important is this for? For George's momentum and what Kirby's trying to do, I think it. I, I think this validates everything that you've you've seen so far. You know, I think they had a great season a year ago, and everybody knows that Georgia's recruited at a high level. This would kind of be another validation point that the SEC East goes through Athens. That's that's the statement Georgia can make. And now, listen, you still got to beat Kentucky in a couple weeks to further that point. But I think this definitely goes a long way in saying, okay, Georgia's here, and Florida's going to have to wait a little while before they're ready for this. Go ahead. For both of y'all, you said you're not going to pick Georgia each and every game, but what would it take for you to pick Georgia tomorrow and on the flip side for Florida as well? I mean, I'd love to hear what Kirby Smart has to say about what he's doing with his quarterback situation. I feel like if we both knew what that was coming into this game, it might be I can easier tell you. to make it. Go ahead. What do you want to know? Who's going to start? <laughs> From. Who's going to play the most snaps? From. All right. Fields will play more than he's played in any game this season. All right. And so hearing that makes me believe, all right, I can pick Georgia because there's a little bit of a change. There's a dynamic that is added to the game and the offense that I think we're still searching for or looking for because you lose two great backs like Georgia did a season ago, and you're still trying to figure out where does our offense go through. I mean, who, who's going to be the one that's leading that charge? And could it be Fields who th throws in the curveball that we were talking about Florida has right now? And, and if you look at Florida's defense, they're not – they're not big. They're not big and physical. They're a fast, fun to watch defense. But I, I think, you know, running quarterback, Kentucky rushed for 300 yards. Um, running quarterbacks, you've seen them have some success against them so far. So I would say that I think um, I think Fields would be a good curveball. I think you'll see Fields more regardless. Fromm's coming off of his worst game. There's no doubt about that. Worst game I've seen him play for Georgia. He's got to be more. He's got to be better in the pass game because here's a, here's what happens when you put Fields in. Immediately your run game goes from good to great because now when you stick that ball out there in the zone read, that defensive end is going, oh crap, I can't let 6'3", 235 outside of me getting downhill. And the threat of that is real and it makes the defenses have to honor it. So I think um, you know if Fromm doesn't play a lot better than he did, then you're going to see Fields more and more and more and more. And he's got. He's got some special gifts that I think you can maximize. And this week, I think it makes a lot of sense, too, for what Florida is and who they are. So, I think 